for that. This is Valletta, it's the capital of Malta, a tiny island south of Sicily, right in the middle of the Mediterranean Sea. It's a fabulous place, it's a pretty beautiful place to visit and lots of people do. 1.2 million tourists come every year to join the roughly half a million residents. And I'm not surprised they come here either. It's steeped in history, there's great architecture and the people are really friendly, very, very hospitable. But there is a problem. Malta is a member of the European Union now and that means that they should apply the same attitudes and rules to the way that they treat their wildlife that the rest of Europe does. But I'm afraid that they don't. And what concerns us most of all is the way that they treat their birds because they're still shooting them in springtime and they're shooting a lot of them. Under normal circumstances, I would say that that was a nice sight. There's a marsh harrier out here, and we've come back to the airport where I landed just a few hours ago, and the sun's come up. And these harriers have come into the airport here because it's a safe place to roost. Uh, last night there were Montague's harrier, pallid harrier, and we've just spotted this marsh harrier. The problem is, of course, that they now need to feed, uh, which is what this bird's doing. It's quartering backwards and forwards looking for a breakfast then it's going to wait until it gets warm, um, find some height and some warmth and then it's going to move off but throughout the course of that time of course it's, it's out there and the minute it moves outside the airport boundary it's in the line of gunfire and we've already heard gunshots from behind us this morning. It's just drifting along. It's now flown well outside the airport boundary which means it's playing, yeah, dicing with death really. And here is one that's lost. This is a little bittern. It's a beautiful little bird. It's a protected species. It's been shot illegally. I'm not touching it simply because we're waiting for the police to arrive and this could be valuable evidence in getting a prosecution against the hunter that shot it. But all this week, I aim to investigate this issue. And this means talking to all of the hunters that I can find. How do you feel about the illegal shooting that goes here? You're I'm against you're, it. You're shooting turtle, dove and quail, but there are people, and you can't argue I'm against they them. They, they do shoot the, other, other birds I'm against them. 100% I'm against them. I'm against them, 100%. It's like saying uh, there's uh, 10 drivers, good drivers, then one of them goes on over a red light. Is he a good driver? There are laws, fines, give them the fine. But don't blame the others. Do you think they're spoiling it for you? Yes, they're spoiling it for me. But most of the Maltese people think that all of these hunters are spoiling the countryside for everyone. Joe. Hello, hi. How are you? I went to meet Joe Sortana, who's been campaigning against this issue for decades. What a fantastic view you've got from your garden and from your house. It's a nice view, except when you see the hunters running about. I then it's not a nice view at all. Um, this shooting, you know, it's been going on for years and years and years. It has always been widespread. And they used to shoot at anything. And the market used to be full of Nigers and Scopsows and bee eaters and everything at that time, because everything was shot for food. The difference is now that they shoot for fun. Since there's an age of digital camera, now everybody is, can be a bird photographer, so there's no excuse. I mean, wh why, why take lives? Why not take photographs? And now, more Maltese people than ever have had enough. What do you think about the shooting of birds here on Malta? Oh, it's disgusting. Against it? Anywhere, not just in Malta. But His grandfather let, um, left him all, all, all a whole collection okay, of guns yeah. and, I told, and I told him I will marry you if you get those guns inside my house. <laughs> this week I'm going to be meeting some real Maltese heroes, people like Ray Vella, who have quite literally put their lives on the line for the birds. You've had a couple of run-ins with hunters yourself. I've, I've 
I'm told you've been shot. Yes, yes, I've been shot twice. <laughs> shot twice? Well, yes, yes. And one of Malta's leading television personalities, Moira Delia, spoke to me from her studio. Most people in Malta are, um, are against hunting and most people are hurt with the idea that we still do have spring hunting. Right now, the migration is really picking up over Malta and so sadly is the illegal shooting. Earlier today, I visited a vet to witness a post-mortem performed on a common swift. One of the most remarkable avians in the world, and it's been shot in Malta. <sighs> that's not good at all, is it? It's not really, that's really not very good. Well, what a pity. What a desperate, desperate shame that is. Now, we're going to be bringing you a lot more about this sickening tale and other stories too, so don't miss our next video blog tomorrow night. Please help us to do something to help stop spring hunting on Malta. Visit chrispackham.co.uk to see how you can make a difference by writing to your MEP or maybe by donating to BirdLife Malta for their forthcoming referendum campaign. Thank you.